Hello students, in this video, I am going to explain about fragmentation and defragmentation. So, let us first go through the definition. Fragmentation occurs when the hard disk does not find contiguous memory to store large files. In this process, the parts of the same file are stored in different places in the memory. Now, because of this, it takes more time for the computer to access the entire file at a time. Defragmentation is the process of locating the non contiguous fragments of data into which a computer file may be divided as it is stored on a hard disk and rearranging the fragments and restoring them into one contiguous area on the disk. Now, I will show you one example. And through that example, I'm going to explain you what is fragmentation and defragmentation. But before going through the example, I would like to present a scenario in front of you. Suppose you are in your room studying. Now you have different subjects and you keep notebooks and books of different subjects, correct? Now what happens if you keep the notebooks and books in different places? Now suppose you have kept your notebooks of uh, English one and maybe of CTS in somewhere else, maybe inside the Almira or maybe uh, on top of a table and you have kept some other books, maybe maths or some other subject like science in the maybe uh, cupboard or somewhere else. So in this way, if you keep your notebooks and books in different places, now at a time when you have to pack up your bag and you have to come to the school, what happens? It takes a lot of time for you to find out all the notebooks and books and then arrange them and put it in the bag and then you come for the school. But what if I keep, what if you keep all the books and notebooks in one place, maybe in the shelf or somewhere else in a cupboard all together in one place. In that way, what happens when you have to come to the school, you can easily find the books and notebooks. You can bring it to the school. Now, let us talk about the example in front of you. Suppose this table, the first table is the computer memory. Now we have different type of files in the computer memory. So suppose we have music files, video files and documents for an example. Okay. Now all the green boxes are music files. All the blue boxes are the video files and all the documents are the red files. So in the first case, in the first diagram, you can see that the music files, video files and the documents are located in different places. Why this happened? Because of the fragmentation. When you were storing the files, suppose you downloaded few songs, then you downloaded few documents and then you have downloaded videos all together at a time you cannot do. So you've done it in different times, right? So over a period of time, all the data in the computer, in the memory got mixed up and it is fragmented also. So through a process which is known as defragmentation, you can see in the second picture, the computer can arrange the files. So all the green files means all the music files are put together and then all the documents and at last all the video files. So this way the defragmentation helps to arrange the file. Now how that will benefit the computer? Yes, that will because when the files are arranged, so you access the file using your computer, it takes less time to retrieve the file. Just like the example I told you right now of your school bag and notebooks, same way the computer will also be working fast if the files are defragmented, means they are put together in one place. Thank you.